Students from Michigan State University are learning the consequences from Saturday's wild post-game celebration. Now police want help identifying more students, and they're turning to the Internet to do it. 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonovich is in East Lansing tonight. In the latest attempt to get Spartan Nation to turn in their classmates, the East Lansing Police Department has posted pictures of classmates on their Facebook page from Saturday's post-game celebration that got out of control. So far, they have been identified as male tearing down street sign, male carrying tree, male with glasses, and male with arm up. Photo one, two, and three. If identified, they could join a group of four other students who were arrested. They are 22-year-old Jacob Gulick, 22-year-old Steven Sudek, 19-year-old Isaac Gracie, and 21-year-old Maura McGlynn, all of East Lansing. The charge, disorderly conduct for remaining within 300 feet of an open fire. The misdemeanor carries up to 90 days in jail and a $500 fine. This isn't the first time students have been in trouble with the law for burning things like couches after games in East Lansing. But the city and police want it to be the last. They're trying to send a strong message to students and put the kibosh on it, especially with the Rose Bowl game right around the corner. From East Lansing, Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News.